I grew up in a fairly large valley in the Beartooth Mountains. The valley floor is just green with grass and crops. The mountains are blue and white with snow. Sometimes it's dangerous. It's often too windy. There are wolves and coyotes and rattlesnakes. All of that is just great food for me as a writer. Sometimes I think of myself almost more of a nature writer than a fantasy writer because of how much I love describing the beauty I see around me on a daily basis. I try to put a lot more into the story than just the standard hack and slash and running around. The characters are always thinking about their place in the world and why they're doing what they're doing and whether it's the right thing to do. When I started Aragon, I was writing for myself, I was writing for fun. You know, it wasn't a job. That shift, okay, now you have to do this. That was a little difficult mentally. I tried keeping track of it all just in my head when I started Aragon. I got caught by surprise one time by a fan who said, well, in, in this book, didn't the character have, have eyes that were this color? And in Brissinger, weren't the eyes a different color? Uh, I found a way to answer that in book four, actually. So, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of different files. But one is devoted to names and places, one is devoted to languages, one is devoted to history and timeline, one is devoted to every single scrap of poetry and verse that I've put into the series, so I have that all separate so I can fiddle with it when I want. I have to be meticulous with it, and I don't like being meticulous with it, but if I don't, it's just too easy to make mistakes. A lot has changed. What was once a small part of my life has now become the whole part of my life. It's kind of strange sometimes for me to sit at home and to be working at home and I'm wrapped up in my little world and then to realize that yes, people outside of my house actually do read these books. And I feel a great responsibility when I'm writing to tell the best story I can because I know it means so much to the readers. And it means so much to me as well. It's very gratifying and I feel very fortunate that uh, I've been able to have this experience and that I've been able to, you know, write as a profession. Originally, my family and I were self-publishing the book and I was traveling around doing promotion for it. No one had heard of me, so the question was how could we get attention for Aragon and for me? And the idea we came up with was having me dressing in sort of a medieval costume. Basically, I looked ridiculous, <laughs> but it got attention. I was homeschooled, so the first time I ever walked into a public high school, I was dressed in that costume. That was difficult. That was definitely scary. When you've had to stand in front of 600 teenagers in a medieval costume, and you're their age as well, and they've never heard of you, and you've got some self-published book with dragons in it they've never heard of, and you have to talk to them and make them like what you've done. After you've done that a few times, a book signing is a piece of cake. <laughs> When I wrote the main climactic scene at the end of book four, it was emotionally intense for me. I mean, it was one of the things where I, I wrote it and I just kind of sat there and kind of feeling like someone punched me in the gut and going, wow, I did, it's done, I did that. And that was quite an experience. I am incredibly grateful for everyone who's read this series. Everything that has happened with these books would not have been possible without you. Without the fans, authors are nothing. And I feel a great responsibility when I'm writing to tell the best story I can because I know it means so much to the readers.